All right, guys, here we have the air cam. Um, and uh, I just had to cut the last shot a li little, little bit prematurely because uh, there were some guys standing there and they, they gave me some news. So out of respect, I uh, had to cut the video short. Here you have the air cam. This one has a very interesting scheme. It's like a fish and shaped like a fish. Uh, this one actually seems to be a three-seater, so one, two, and three. That would normally be the cargo spot, but here it's been fitted for a passenger. And then what's good is that this is actually completely enclosed. So in case you have uh, rain, well, everybody is inside. I don't think this thing has air conditioning because that, those engines are very small. And uh, it's got the amphibious setup. All right, here we have something that's unfinished. It's fabric covered. Um, I don't know if this is a real plane, because if you look at the finish there, it's kind of, uh, I don't know. Here you have the engine. And build and fly this aircraft. Uh, that looks like the engine's cylinder head says ZD. Then you have a PSRU in front. You have a composite cowling there. But this looks like a jet engine though. Check this out. I don't know if you guys know what this is. It looks like a jet. Fisher flying. I don't know if this thing flies they have it flying yet if they do then it looks really interesting just hope somebody doesn't try to do aerobatics in that and here we have Drake aircraft there you have the aeropop and those are all departures there's been no flying from the experimental area because of the mishap today. That's Kolb or Kolb. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. If I'm saying it wrong, please correct me. And this is for sale. Kit planes for Africa. It's from Canada. I don't know if it's certificated for Africa. Oh, sorry for the United States, but you have the engine oil and there you have the coolant. And you guys can see the interior. Um, we do have some numbers back there, but since they're shutting down, um, I don't think it's wise to go inside. I'm sure you can check it up on the, look it up on the internet. Here you have very nice propeller set. Constant speed propellers. I don't know if this, they probably adjust themselves automatically, which is cool. So Rotax 915 injection and I'm always so amazed with the amount of wiring that you find in aircraft I don't know if that can ever be simplified maybe with um, electric engines possibly maybe not sure but that would be nice I mean each of those wires that's you know it, like I say it's always it's a failure failure point and you want to reduce that, those as much as you can for aircraft. Maybe Elon Musk might attack aviation next, and that would be great. And here you have uh, wind socks, different types, different colors for your home, your farm. Oh, look at these guys. looks like it flies it's got the 
Vemmer. Rotary engine. See the oil filter. This looks like a constant speed prop. Scale Birds. That's the name of the company. You can see what the engine looks like. Oil filter. This one is a three cylinder rot rotary engine. You got a starter right here. The Bendix will push it out, engage the flywheel, and you can see it's a lightweight flywheel. And this is manufactured by Verna. V E R N E R motor. It shows the direction of rotation. Simple modern rotary engine. I don't know much about those. If you guys know anything, please do share. Nice cockpit. And you slide it back, slide it close. It's a, a metal body, metal tail, but fabric covered control surfaces. And that fabric covered also fabric covered also and you can see the flaps are deployed beautiful and here we have some powered parachutes It's called a dragon you can see it has some led light right here so i'm sure this lights up beautifully at night looks great and right here we have the same thing oh check this out this is actually the cola engine which you can get from Harbor Freight. Hello. Hi! <laughs> um what brand is this? Dragon. Oh it's called the Dragon, like like it's written there. Okay. Yeah. Where are you guys based out of? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay. You offer flight training for new uh we have, buyers? Yeah, we have a trainer. Yeah. Okay, we good, have good. Okay, okay. So if somebody were to purchase it, they will go to Florida and the do the training. Yep. Okay. Do you have a website though? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Yep. So it's Dragon PPG and they do have a trainer. He's based out of Florida. You have some contact information. It's got the composite uh, blade nice tundra wheel so you can run really nicely on uh, on improved surfaces and this one is a single seater tank is underneath and i think it's electronic ignition i think i don't know about uh, the fuel if it's injected or not And here we have a 100% PAT 103, which is ultra light. Um, single seater, clean firewood forward. It's for sale. It's got the folding wings. So I guess this could be trailered. You can see the wings. They're uh, covered in uh, fabric, simple cockpit. And this looks like it's very easy to put together. You got a gas tank, flight control surfaces. Looks like everything is here for it, this thing to go flying. Let's take a look right here. It's got the Tundra tires. 
Oh, I don't know if this thing even takes any air in the tire. Beautiful cockpit. It's got a disc brake, as you guys can see. And here it's called Badland Aircraft. They got an example of the single cylinder engine right there. <clears throat> and here you have a two seater powered, powered parachute PPG. There you have the Yeehaw. So most of these guys here they brought their aircraft in these trailers. You can see there's one right there so you can easily have it if you live in a city put it in there store it in your garage or wherever out of the elements so this is a yeehaw seems to have won many awards yeah this looks like a purpose-built bird for stall work not an air con okay let's continue check out the tires that they have that's not uh, that's a little bit unusual yeah usually they're they're smooth this one has a well yeah, you know i mean he's like he wants grip because he wants to stop real quick you know? oh yeah 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 he wants all the grip he wants that tire to grip the ground quick because that takes some effort for a tire to get momentum yes so that momentum creating that momentum shortens his landing okay do you happen to know what kind of engine he has in there? Yeah, that's a three-cylinder uh, Yamaha engine. Two or three, I think it's a three-cylinder Yamaha okay. Oh, so it's powered by a... Yeah, I think it's a three-cylinder. I know it's a Yamaha Stolbiolger. I think it's three-cylinders. Okay. And it's supercharged. Wow. So it's a supercharged uh, three-cylinder engine in here, yeah. probably. And then it's uh, built for stall. You guys can see the shocks. So when it lands on the ground, it doesn't bounce up, absorbs all the energy. And then it's got the brakes and uh, the cleated tire. How are you? Four bladed prop. And you can see the heat exchanger for the supercharger. An oil cooler. Let's take a look inside. A two seater leading slots. How do you think he gets you know, he, he does a, a hundred takeoffs and landings a day? Yeah, I've like watched his YouTube four or five of them on the run, you know, before he gets to the end of the runway, turn around <laughs> with the other one. But he uh -huh. does all the RD. I mean, that's that's that's, that's by doing it, that's the only way you figure out what, 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 where. So here we have Black Hawk Paramotos. Looks like a novel design. Lots of carbon fiber on this one. It's a tiny engine. And this one is mounted on wheels. It's got a frame. It's a two seater. How does it feel? 
like a, you know, an ass hammock. You feel like you're about to fall off or you feel comfortable? No, 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 you're sitting back in it. Like, it feels better to sit back in it. Okay. It doesn't feel like you're going to fall forward. Okay. And, you know, I would assume you're coupled in. Yeah, you probably be here, here, here. have the yeah, four-way strapping. Yeah. And that's the throttle right there. And, uh, yeah. And then these are the, you know, left. Right, or right, left. Okay. Cool. Does that look about right, that position? Yeah. How many hours does it typically take for somebody with zero flight experience to get to where they can actually take off? Yeah, yeah I mean, like I said, coordinated, strong, young, you know what's going on. A lot of times you can skip over the whole, like, perfect weather yada 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 like if you have pilot background experience already mm -hmm. so when we're training when it's not a good time for fighting and stuff we're going over site selection weather airspace all that stuff so you know it's literally eight to twelve hours a day for three to four days so whatever you know 60 hours oh so that's what takes quite a bit of the time the ground school like you know uh, well, S you don't want to just leave getting one flight and being like I flew and going home and not knowing <laughs> and feeling confident that's so true that's why you try to hammer and be you know be thorough and be repetitive with stuff so when you leave mm -hmm. you know you can be like okay I feel confident your first few flights by yourself are going to feel a little bit like whoo this is crazy but mm -hmm. at least you can build up a lot of confidence and get flights and before going home like, um, different types of terrain like sand yeah, but I, you know, like, so you are going to take off in the beautiful, wide open, grassy right. field for many flights. Yeah. yeah, you'll get to you'll get to the spots where I take off <laughs> after a while, which are crappy, unsafe, Sand and bars and trespassing off barn roofs. If somebody is looking to buy one, could they also buy like a training package? Yeah, absolutely. That way you can... Very much encouraged. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you guys, what's your website? Blackhawk. Just type in Blackhawk Paramotor. Paramotor. Blackhawk. Okay. And you're based out of uh, Florida? They're in California. California. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Great gear. <laughs> there's training places around the country. Okay. It's awesome to learn in California because it's a beautiful place. And they have so much equipment and awesome instructors. Okay. Cool. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay. So here. We have some vintage aircraft from, on this side. And over here, we have some more ultralights. So let's start from this side and see what we can find. I will be making a cut right here. <laughs> 